Hello friends, welcome back to Edicurrent channel. In this video, we will discuss operating principle of a onload tap changer or OLTC by using this drawing. In a onload tap changer, tap changing operation is performed by two type of switch. They are selector switch and diverter switch. Actual tap changing is performed by selector switch, whereas diverter switch is used to divert the load current during tap changing operation. But why we need this diverter switch? Because tap changing operation suppose from tap number 3 to 1 can be easily performed by this selector switch. So why diverter switch is needed? If this question arise in your mind then you are absolutely correct we can change tap from 1 to 3 or 3 to 1 by using this selector switch only. Diverter switch is not at all required. But this is true if this is a offload tap changer or tap changing operation is done by switching off or throwing off the load. Because when transformer is loaded, then the full load current will flow through this selector switch and if we want to change tap from 3 to 1 or vice versa by using selector switch then load current will interrupt it because when load current is flowing through this selector switch then if we want to change tap from 3 to 1 then there will be a momentary interruption in current flow and there will be huge flashover which can damage this tap changer. So in a onload tap changer we need an arrangement to divert or bypass the load current during tap changing operation by selector switch and this job is performed by diverter switch. In a onload tap changer, there are two number of selector switches used simultaneously for tap changing operation and this diagram represents only one phase of a three phase transformer. Other two phases are similar like this. But notice that one selector switch is connected with three and another with four. So what is the actual tap position of this transformer? it is 3 because diverter switch is connected with M1 terminal and the path of flow of load current is through this 3 number terminal to selector switch and via this M1 terminal and diverter switch. Though right hand side selector switch is connected with tap number 4, there will be no current flow through it. Now we will see how to change tap from 3 to 2 without interrupting the load current. As this right hand side selector switch is connected with tap number 4 and there is no load current through it. So we can change this from tap number 4 to 2 without any flashover because there is no current flow through this selector switch. So we can easily change this step from 4 to 2. After changing of tap position from 4 to 2 by right hand side selector switch, diverter switch will start rotating. At first it will come to this position and in this condition load current will flow through this M1 and R1 and this switch will rotating continuously and after some time this is the new position and notice that in this condition total load current will be divided. One part will be flow through tap number 3 by R1 resistance and another part will start flow through this right hand side selector switch and via this resistance R2 and this switch will keep moving in clockwise direction and at a time it will only connected with 
R2. So, in this condition or in this position tap 3 is disconnected and total load current will flow through this tap 2 and then this is next position and in this position current will flow through R2 and M2 and at last this is the final position when total load current is flowing through tap 2. Now we will further reduce tap position from 2 to 1 and in this operation at first selector switch in left hand side will operate and it will select tap number 1 from 3 and in this operation from 3 to 1 there will be no flashover because there is no load current flowing through selector switch in left hand side. After selector switch operation diverter switch starts rotating in anticlockwise direction and at first R2 is connected and there is two parallel path for load current they are R2 and M2. So, this switch keeps moving in anticlockwise direction and after some time M2 is totally disconnected from this diverter switch and total load current is now flowing through this path and after some time these two resistors are simultaneously connected with diverter switch. So, for load current there is two path one is through tap 2 and by this selector switch and then this register R2 and another path is now created through tap 1 and by this left hand side selector switch and through this R1 and then by diverter switch and this switch continues rotating in anticlockwise direction and after some time this R2 register is di disconnected from this diverter switch. So, now the load current have only one path and that is through selector switch in left hand side. Right hand side path is now totally disconnected. So, total load is already diverted from selector switch on right hand side to left hand side and this switch keeps rotating and after some time it will only connect it with M1 terminal and R1 terminal is also disconnected. So, now total load current is flowing through this tap position number 1 and by this path. So, without switching off the load we successfully transfer the load current from tap 2 to 1 this is working principle of onload tap changer hope you understand this topic for more update like this stay tuned by subscribing and don't forget the bell icon for further notifications